Hi, today I will be showing you on how to create a virtual machine inside TrueNAS Scale System, so please stay tuned. Hello there, and welcome to Daniel Tech Tips channel. Let's start, log into your TrueNAS and ensure that the storage pool was already created. If not, follow this tutorial on top of the screen on how to install and create your first storage pool. Now, we need to create two set of datasets, one for the ISO file and another one for the virtual machine location. Click on the datasets menu, under pool 1 volume, click on add dataset button. First, let's create a storage location for ISO file, I will name it ISO underscore file, for easy recognition and leave everything else as default and click on save button. Next, we need to create a storage location for virtual machines. Click on add dataset button again, this time I will name it as vm underscore guest, and as usual I will leave everything as default and click the save button. Now as you can see, the two datasets have been created. Next is we need to configure Samba shares to upload the ISO file that we need to use. Next, go to Shares menu, under Windows SMB Shares option, click on the Add button. Select the path location you want to share, in this case it's the ISO underscore file folder. Leave everything as default and click the Save button. You need to restart the Samba service for it to take effect, click on Restart Service button. Next is to add the proper access credentials on that folder. Click on Add Item button, select User and choose your username, apply the full permissions to that user. We also need to allow the root user to access that same folder too. Click on Add Item button, select User option and select the root username too, and apply the same full permissions too. Now, click on the Save Access Control List button. Next, is we need to copy the Ubuntu ISO file to TrueNAS folder. Open File Explorer and copy the ISO file. Next browse to your true NAS IP address, and if prompted, just key in your credentials, paste the ISO file into that folder. Now back to your true NAS, go to Virtualization menu, and click the Add Virtual Machines button. Select the operating system type, in this case it's a Linux. Also give it a name for easy identification, I will just name it Ubuntu. Leave everything as default and click the next button. Next, we need to specify the CPU settings, I will just select a single CPU with two cores and four threads settings, then select host model as the CPU models. Then I need to specify the RAM needed, in this case I just put a 8 gigabit and a minimum of 2 gigabit memory. Now we need to specify the hard drive settings, I will select AHCI type and the location of the drive to VM underscore guest location with a 40 gigabit size. Now, is to configure the network, just select Intel adapter, if available and attached it to the primary network interface you have. 
To select the installation media, just select the location where the ISO file is located and select that ISO file. If you have GPU available, you can specify it here. Else just click next button and click the save button at the final screen. Once the VM is created successfully, you can now power on the VM. To view the screen, click on the display button and another browser tab will open to display the console screen. For more information on how to install Ubuntu server, you can follow this tutorial on the top right corner here or in the link in the description below. Once the installation completed, you need to manually eject the ISO file. Back to the true NAS screen and force power off the VM. Then click on Devices button, look for CD-ROM device and click on the three dots drop-down and click the Delete option and click the Delete Device button. Then back to virtualization menu and power on back the VM. Now, you should be able to boot from the VM itself. Congratulations! You have successfully installed a VM in TrueNAS. Proceed to configure the VM as per your need. I would recommend to configure the time zone, disabling the cloud service, if required, and etc. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.